How's it going, boys? Yeah, it's GM Jabron Limes here, back with another Lakers uh, franchise mode. So in the last episode, we got it underway, and I think this episode we're just going to continue all the way to the end of the season. So we'll just go in here. We'll go to the playoffs, the first round. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to also see how our team progresses. Um, you know, how Lonzo's doing, how his development is. Because if you ask me, it should be going good. He's an amazing player. And, I mean, really the future of our franchise. So we definitely need him to play to the best of his abilities. Uh, but anyways, we saw Brooke Lopez, Julius Randle, Brandon Ingram. All that good stuff. All those good players. Um, definitely Brandon Ingram. We're looking to grow him. And hopefully if we can flip Brooke Lopez, which I don't think is going to be able to happen gonna have to lose him in free agency but I'm I'm sure that we'll be able to sign an amazing player in free agency um, DeMarcus Cousins is a notable center that will be up so if he goes to free agency we're definitely gonna try and get him uh, so now let's see how we did so we were 38 and 44 it's all right not the best 14th in the West actually that's pretty bad West is the hard division so what are you gonna do Lonzo there, he's an 86 now, that's awesome. I'm going to see if I can improve him just a little bit more with these upgrades. So basically how it works is they get a certain amount of upgrade available. And there we go. I'll do that. So I'll up that. Ooh, can I still do some primary? Give him a dribbling upgrade. I can still do a secondary. Give him that. There you go. Now he's an 87, so he's amazing already at a young age, which is nice. These next guys, I don't think it matters too, too much. Right now, uh, Luol Deng, I don't know what he's doing. But it should be Brandon Ingram playing there. I don't know why he was there. Unfortunately, we don't have our first, uh, we don't have our pick either. We don't have a first round pick. So even though we did bad, we won't be able to pick up a player. Uh, can I, he must be injured or something. Overview, no, I'm not sure what's going on. But I don't think we'll be able to, uh, I don't think he's playing right now. He's probably injured, that's what it is. Uh, so anyways, we'll continue on with this episode, see where it takes us, probably do a bit of a draft, and then, yeah, so advance further, we'll just go ahead and advance to the draft in this, uh, because we won't be able to, um, we won't be able to, we're not in the playoffs anyway, so it doesn't matter. What I do like about this game actually is how fast this stuff simulates, like, uh, you know, that's really nice to see. I like games that simulate quickly and you can just get through them without having to wait so, so long. That's that's the worst, really. Um, so simulating the NBA Finals. We'll get up into over here. Okay, so we're up at the draft now. Um, I would like, I wish we had a first, but we don't, so that's unfortunate. Start draft, let's see. Um, Warriors win the... Larry O'Brien, not surprised. Ooh, I think it's the Cavs there. Who who has our pick? I think it's the Cavs. That would that would make sense. Um, but anyways, we'll go ahead and advance. Don't think there's real players. I'm actually I'm quite certain that there's no real players. Uh, let's go check out who we can draft in our first ever draft here. So Roland Marino here, this guy, he's supposed to be the twelfth pick. He's got pretty good athleticism, playmaking ability. He is a wing, which we already have in Brandon Ingram. But there's this guy as well, who's got worse athleticism. He's just overall a bit worse than Marino. But he does have better perimeter offense, which doesn't really matter. This Malcolm Town guy is a very solid bees all around. Um, I'm definitely looking at getting this guy. I think I'm going to go for Malcolm Tan and see how he turns out. So Malcolm Tan, Tama, sorry. Well, oh, not pause. And go ahead to the end of the draft. So, uh, can we look at resume? There we go. Okay, so let's check out draft the draft recap, see who is drafted. So they got an 84. The draft is really a good way to build because if you can get an 84 overall 19-year-old, that's really good. Um, and a bunch of 80s, like you can definitely get good players in the draft, especially in like the first 10 picks. Um, and going into the second round, even in the second round, you can still find steals, which is nice because you know in NHL you're able to do that. And you should be able to do that in this game as well. So we, he's a 68, not that good. But Conrad Karan, wow, there's an 80 down here. 
Okay, we missed out, man. Boys, we missed out. It's not good. That's that's okay. So did all those other teams as well. Not that bad. Uh, Resigned players. We got 71 million cap room in the top right, as you see. Brooks Lopez, or not Brooks. Sorry, I'm thinking of Brooks or picks, but we're not gonna resign him. Contavious Caldwell Pope. We're definitely gonna resign him. Uh, he wants 12 mil. I'm fine with that, actually. Uh, yeah, I would like to resign Contavious. Um, and then Julius Randall, definitely these guys, these young guys, they're definitely getting re-signed for sure. He wants 17 mil, which is a lot, but, I mean, if he can grow, I, I really don't care. Because uh, he's still young. He's not interested, apparently. Hmm, interesting. Brandon Ingram, I definitely want this guy back. Uh, I'll ex exercise the team option. Get him for one more year at 5.51 million. Uh, Larry Nance, we're going to re-sign him. He's cool. Uh, exercise the team option. We'll only get him for a mil the next season, which is nice. Uh, and then Andrew Bogut, Corey Brewer. I don't think we want these guys, really. Like, I'm surprised Julius Randle uh, didn't want to sign, but I mean, he, I'm pretty sure he's an RFA. I hope they have the RFA mechanic in the game. Um, but he is an RFA, so we should be able to... Uh, we should be able to like match any offers that come. So... Free agents, let's get into this. Okay, who is there? Yeah, there's DeMarcus. And Isaiah, we can sign both of these guys, boys. That'd be amazing. I mean, we already have Alonzo, but if we play Alonzo at the four, that'd be cool. Okay, so I'm going to go after DeMarcus for sure. I'm going to have to give him a big, big contract. So uh, definitely upwards of 30 mil. How about that much? How's that sound to you, DeMarcus? Okay. No, we're second to the math, so we gotta we gotta up our offers. Uh, no, sorry, not give, give him four years and uh, backload it. Uh, give him give him the max available, max possible. Okay, give him that then. Does he want it? Nah, we're still second. Oh man, I don't know what to do. Huh. That's a player. I can't give him any more money. Can I give you any more money than that, man? Does he want flat? I don't know. Does that make the players want flat or do they want backloaded? No, he definitely wants backloaded. Which, oh man, no. We got to get this guy. Not front loaded, back loaded. I don't think he's going to sign with, with us, which sucks. We'll definitely get Isaiah Thomas, so we'll go for him. Get a strong backcourt duel. I'll definitely give him a max as well. Two max deals in this one free agency, which is awesome. That's pretty crazy. We're making a splash here as the Lakers. Give him a flat. Does he want that? Yeah, we're first. There you go. And then we'll simulate a week. Uh, to see. Oh, actually down here. If we don't even get DeMarcus Cousins, I'm fine with going for Jalil Oak for here. Actually, he's a really good player. And no one's even going for him, which is... Heck, that's a steal for us if we can get him. Apparently, we don't have the salary cap for him, so we'll wait a week. But there's some good players down here. Jalil Okafor, definitely. Julius Randle down there. Uh, Gigi Redick. We can always put in Larry Nance to replace... Um, Larry Nance can go in to replace... What's his name? Um... Julius Randle, if we lose him, I'm fine with that. And we have Kyle Kuzma, who's got the light skin connection, what they call, with Lonzo. So that doesn't matter too much. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see if we, did we get him? Hey, we're first for DeMarcus, but now we're second for um, Isaiah. Hmm. Anyone under, like, 10 mil? Tony Parker, we could get him. Yusuf Nurkic, Manuel Mudiay. Ooh, there's some good players in here. Tyus Jones, Dougie, not Dougie Hamilton, but Doug McDermott. No, I think we'll wait. I really want to get either DeMarcus Cousins. I mean, if we can't get Isaiah Thomas, I'd rather go for Chris Paul, but Chris Paul's taken, then that's a huge problem that we'll have. Uh, let's keep going here. Okay, let's see. Did anyone sign? So we got 42 mil back in cap room. That means someone signed. So we can still get Chris Paul. I definitely still want to get Jalil Okafor, but 
it's kind of pointless at this point. Uh, I don't. We might as well just get a young. Well, we don't need a po point guard. That's the thing, right? We don't need one of these young guys. Um, could do Marcus Smart. He's not bad. Julius Randle. We could get him back. Willie Cauley Stein. Jalil Okafor is pretty good. D'Angelo Russell. Nah, I don't want him. He's a snitch. And I think we'll just sign Chris Paul for a year. Yeah, I see we just signed Chris Paul for a year. Play Lonzo at the four. I think that should be more than enough. I'd rather just give him a one-year deal. But the max allowable. Uh, let's see if that works with a player option if you want. One year with the player. Uh, so that puts us as third. We're going to have to give him way more money than that. Uh, how much can we go? How much can we go? Okay, so about 36 million. I'm fine with that. Okay, and we're still third somehow, so maybe we won't be able to get him. We might have to get D'Angelo Russell, but I really don't. I don't think we need D'Angelo Russell. That's not really worth it. Uh, power four, we do, we do need. So, anyways. So, we could go for um, Julius Randle here. Uh, and we could get him back. We have Contavious, so we don't really need one of those. I, I think we just have to go for uh, Julius Randle. Hopefully he doesn't sign in the time, because we offered a contract to Chris now, Chris Paul. If he doesn't accept, then we're kind of up the creek here. Uh, my negotiations. Who are we negotiating with right now? Just Chris Paul and DeMarcus Cousins. If we get DeMarcus Cousins, that'll be fine. Um, continuing on, okay, Sim next free agency, okay, we got 42 back, 42 mil back, so I guess Chris Paul rejected, uh, yeah, so there you go, uh, and Julius Randall couldn't get him, I get. I say we just go for Willie Cauley Stein then, and play him at the, either him or Yusuf, they both want the same money, He's a bit taller. There's no other good. No. There's Trey Bork. There's no good power forwards, hey? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's going to have to be Willie Cauley Stein or Yusuf. I say we just get Yusuf because he's a year younger and he's. No one's vying for him, so we'll just offer it to him. Okay, but. There we go. We can slot him in. And then we still have. Quite a bit of salary cap, which is good. Just in case we want to make a trade, do a deal, anything else. But I think we're okay now. Uh, let's see. Free agency still going on. That's good. And we're just continuing on with the NBA franchise. I hope you guys are liking it. You know, I'm trying to, trying to, not say trying to too much, and I'm trying also not to say you know too much. But I'm really trying to, you know want you guys to enjoy this series so just tell me if you know I should continue and stuff like that so continuing on we got uh, Lonzo's beast in right now he's an 87 we got DeMarcus he's doing really well uh, I definitely want to switch um, Larry Nance and Yusuf Nurkic I know like I mean not even maybe even instead like that um, uh, you're playing out of position, bud. Like, but what are you gonna do? Even Kyle Kuzma. Honestly, I think I'm gonna put in Kyle Kuzma because I really like Kyle Kuzma. Like, I saw him at uh, watching videos of him at the summer league. He was really, really good. So I think I'm gonna give him a chance. Brandon Ingram. I could. Yeah, I really need him to become a good player. Like Lonzo came from nowhere and just became amazing. I need kind of Brandon Ingram to do the same thing. Uh, let's look if we can maybe still. The Suns have a lot of cap room, so we might be able to pull off a trade for Devin Booker. He is an 88, though, now. It would be so nice if we just could have just traded for him last year, but, again, it wasn't going wasn't gonna to work out. No, Contavious, can we get him? No, I don't think this, this is never going to happen. We need a power forward. That is our problem. Who's a good... I guess we get... I'll check out Kristaps, how good he is. No, but, yeah, they... No, that's not going to happen. They have this guy, though, Thelwell. Ooh, I think I'm going to jump and try and get him. Nah, but they don't have enough money. Who else? Atlanta had a top pick, I remember. So we'll check who Atlanta picked with there. 
top pick. Try and trade like Contavious or something. We need a power forward, boys. This guy maybe from Pennington. I don't. I, you know, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't know who to give up. You know, I don't want to give up Lons. I don't want to give up Demarcus, Contavious, I guess. But you know, oh, they do want him. That's okay. That's cool. And then I can also give up Yusuf because I don't really need him. Right? Would you do straight up for that? Would they do that? Not interested. Okay. What if I threw in a? What if we switched picks? Uh, so I'll give you a second. I'll give you a second rounder, huh? How about that? Is that? You're not interested, but it says you have interest level max. What if I also threw in? I could give you Jordan Clarkson, but you're gonna have to give me someone back. Uh, they don't want Jordan Clarkson at all. Nice. I wish I told you what. Uh, I can't give Larry Nance. I can give you Luol Deng. Yeah, they don't want him. How about, okay, I will give you my first, I'll switch first, how about that? So I'll give you a first, and you give me your first. Let's see if we can get this trade to go through. So we're just basically, uh, oops, no, the Hawks, I had it, Hawks, and then picks. Yeah, let's see if we can get this to go through. Submit trade, no. Okay, that's not going to go through. So we're going to have to just stick with the team we got here. Uh, Lonzo, he's got 14,000 XP points, which we're going to definitely use. I don't know if he's glitched, what's going on here, but I mean, I'm not going to complain. There you go, upgrade his three-point, upgrade his mid, on-ball D, that's important, you need that. Now, my boy Lonzo, he's an 88, he's a beast already in his just second year. Uh, now I think about it, I forgot to check last year's... Um, <laughs> Forgot to check the stats from last year, but that's okay. So let's go ahead. Let's sim half a year, I guess. Sim to January. See how the team's doing. What we need to do. Any decisions we need to make. We'll see how it is. Uh, so we'll get right into the sim right away here. Okay. Slowly but surely, we're going. We're going through. We're going through. Chugging along. Okay, week seven, week eight, any moment now. Uh, week nine, week ten, we're doing well here. Hopefully our record, you know, I wish it was like NHL where we could see our record over time. DeMarcus Cousins, I saw a headline there with 42 points against the Cavs. That'd be nice if he actually did that, but we're 14 and 22 now. Boys, what's going on? Good thing I did not trade that pick with Atlanta. Oh, man. Boys, what is this? Look how our team is like stat. I guess we only have Lonzo and Demarcus, but still, boys, come on. Can I see player stats? Let's see that. So right now, uh, there's points, points, points. Ah, okay. Demarcus got 25. Lonzo's at 20. Uh, how about for field or assist rebounds? That's nice. Demarcus, oh, I did not mean to press that. Yes, I know. He's 92 overall. Okay. There he is. Who's leading our team in rebounds? We'll see DeMarcus. And Lonzo's up there. Lonzo again, 11.9 assists. This guy's a beast. And he doesn't even lead the team in turnover. This guy's amazing. Lonzo Ball, let me tell you. You're a good player, buddy. Uh, turnovers, who leads the NBA? Joel Embiid. Uh, assists. Lonzo, he's leading by a big margin. Rebounds. Joel Embiid, though, he's up there in rebounds. So I guess that makes up for the turnovers. And if we look at points per game, Rudy Gobert again. This guy is like a beast. He's averaging 30 points again. Kevin Durant. Oh, yeah, a lot of people averaging th around 30 points. That's good. That's cool to see. And then steals Courtney Lee, Jimmy Butler, Conrad Curran. Lonzo's up there. My boy Lonzo, he's doing well. That's nice to see. Uh, so we'll get to the end of the season. Check out, um, you know, Look through what happened, and then I think we'll end the video there. So, anyways, continuing on, we'll go. Can I just sim to the playoffs? Let's see if I can. Hopefully, yeah. Okay. I wish you could sim to like off days. That'd be nice. That'd be very, very, very convenient. But unfortunately, you can't do that. So, whatever. I take it and I live with it. That's okay. No problem with that. 
Um, so anyways, we'll get through the season. Hopefully we can turn it around a bit. I guess at this point it'd be better just to tank, and then we can take a good shooting guard or power forward. I really want Brendan Ingram to you know, improve, but he's stuck at like a 78. I, but he won't grow. Like I don't know what I'm supposed to do with him, you know? Um, it's it sucks, but that's them. Them's be the break sometimes, right? You know, what are you going to do? So we're in week 26. I don't know how many weeks there are in the season. Probably like 30, maybe. Does it say? Uh, it says it's been saying simulating week 26. So I guess there's only 26 weeks. We finished 34 and 48, worse than last year. But somehow we're better in the West, which doesn't really make sense to me. But okay, I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with the flow here and just say whatever. Uh, Looking at our team, Lonzo's now a 90, so that's awesome. But these guys, come on, you guys gotta pull your weight. Larry Nance, Brandon Ingram, Kentavious. Uh, let's. Can I go check out? Uh, I don't want to check out playoff player stats. Do I have to check out player? Ah, uh, don't tell me that they just get rid of the. Are you serious? Wow. Can you see season awards at least for this last year? All-Star, Rudy Gobert, and Schroeder. And no players from our, from our side. We didn't get coach of the year. MVP, Joel Embiid, 31 points. That's pretty cool. Um, most improved player, Seth Curry's down there. I saw him. Donovan Mitchell won it. Defensive player of the year, Joel Embiid. That guy's a beast. Efron Pennington, who we were trying to get. Six man of the year. So we didn't win any awards. I don't think we were in the contestion for any awards. That sucks. We can't even look at the stats, which is annoying. But now I know for next time that I can't do that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. And as always, have a good day. Bye-bye.